Hi guys, it's Amanda. Welcome to the channel. It feels like an age since I've sat in here with you. This is still the dining room, but you've, I've got you on a different angle because I've been clearing ornaments and, and stuff from over here. So the computer is now over this side of the room instead of facing the fireplace, which is what you normally can see on my videos. So apologies for that. It's all a bit iggledy piggledy back here because I'm packing and doing and one thing and another. Um, of one of the hauls I've got for you today, I've got these fuchsias, but I'll come through that with you in a minute. Um, so I've got, uh, they're all small hauls. I've got a, a range mini haul, a home bargains mini haul, mid, mid, yeah, mini haul, and an Amazon unboxing as well. So, there we go. Today's outfit of the day is my lovely strip. I love this top. This is from... Oh, the dogs are barking. Just one night a second. Sorry about that. Where was I? It was the postman. I hope you're liking the hair. I'm just kind of getting used to it. It's an undercut pixie. I think you can see it a little bit better on this video than on the last one. So, it's shaved up to here. Uh, and then at the back, it's it's kind of comes to a bit of a point. And then it's shaved up here. It's a bit like pink, um, the pop star. Not that I'm trying to be a pop star, but you know what I mean. I wish I could sing like her. But anyhow, um, yeah, if I'm a bit, sound a bit short of breath or chest, it's hay fever. Um, I had my second jab yesterday, COVID vaccine. Get in. So that's good news. So that's another thing sorted. I can finally, because that, when that's on your mind, it's awful, isn't it? You've got it in your mind and you're like, oh, am I going to get my vaccine? Am I going to get my vaccine? When am I going to get my vaccine? Have they missed me? Once you hear about people getting done that's in your group, you're like, I wonder if they've missed me out. I wonder if, why haven't they got to me yet, kind of thing. Anyway, I'm all jabbed up, if you like. So, as I was saying before, my outfit today, this is um, like um, a little peplum you see here it's quite it's it's still loose but it's the, the my natural here like this and then this is like a peplum around the bottom so this is good for like with jeans and if you can see the length let me have a look see if i can ooh, there you go length is covers your bum your hips and um, i've got this is from tesco my jeans and mum jeans from asda's and my shoes, I've got these shoes on today. I love these. They're made out of elastic. And these are by Adesso. They're rubber bottom. Um, so they're a bit like a trainer. But the actual woven bit here is It's all elastic. All different thin elastics in like a pattern interwoven. So they really are stretchy. They stretch with your feet. So they're comfortable. So when your feet get warm and they swell a little bit then the, um, the shoes do it with you but the fab fab shoes good for walking in obviously not mountain climbing but just good for walking about like i've been to town this morning well not town but i've been and got some bits today um from this um the little shopping area where we are a couple of miles up the road i'm, I'm out of breath now I've stood up it's just the hay fever i'm hoping it's not side effects from this jab i don't think it will be um, but since I had my first one, I said to Graham yesterday, since I had my first vaccine, I've been a bit out of breath. But I do think it's a coincidence. I do think it's my my hay fever. I'm taking the tablets anyway. So, I'm waffling, as I do, as you know. <laughs> but without further ado, um, let's crack on. So, first of all, the nearest bag to me is the range. So, let me show you. I got this. This was two forty nine. It's a um, a one. Is it one? Yeah, one cuisine food storage, six liter rectangular food box. And this, as I say, this they've got different colours. This is a pale pink lid. Um, they did. Um, they had grey. They had blue. They had clear. Can't think if they have black. They've got a few colours anyway. So this is from the range, two forty nine. What I'm hoping it will be good for is to store bread when we move to the van. Um, I think I'll get a loaf in there, but if not, I'll get bread cakes and wraps and things like that in there, flatbreads and what have you. So, so that's the and the, the labels come off easy, which is good. I hate it when the labels don't peel off and then you end up 
getting all sticky on the side of it. Ooh, I don't know if I mean to say, but anyway, they come off there. Okay, so I'm going to try that. If that does work and it does store bread, I'll get another one. Um, one for this one, obviously for the loaf, and then the other one for bread cakes, flatbreads, pita breads, that kind of thing that we use. So yeah, pleased with that. So that's the take to the caravan. I'm just popping them down here on the fireplace. I went for some of my um, soda stream syrup. They didn't have the diet, so I got the normal. But I just got one, so I haven't tried this yet. It might be a bit too sweet for me. Um, but I'll give it a go. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what that comes out at. That's um, three ninety nine a bottle. And it makes seventy nine liters, so that's quite good. And I'm using it, and it is very good. It's a good, good, and there's no aspartame in it, so it's um, a good um, alternative to normal physical physical whatever. Now, because I'm on with solicitors' paperwork, and I've got mountains of it to do after this video, because um, it needs to go back today. Because I'm at, um, because I'm doing mountains and mountains of paperwork, I needed some more paper, so I bought some paper, um, which were, I think it was it three ninety nine. This, yeah, uh, a second. Yeah, three ninety nine. You could buy two for six. I'm a bit mad actually, because the same one in home bargains I've just seen is two ninety nine a pack. So, but anyhow, the exact same make and everything. So it's a pound cheaper. If anybody's going for white copy paper, um, this new range, a new new, um, in the same packaging, everything is exactly the same. Two ninety nine in home bargains, three ninety nine in. The range so even if you got two packets in the range it would still work out cheaper by 2p in home bargains if you bought two but if you're just buying one pack then uh, home bargains is cheaper so that's that one so that needs to stay here because I've got mountains of that to be on with today uh, and then we needed some um, hook and loop velcro tape for to attach some lights outside the van. So I've got two packs of the hook and loop which were um let me know, look uh, 149 each so that was those and that's the uh, oh fuchsias let me show you the fuchsias the fuchsias were 275 they're in a 12 centimeter pot now it doesn't say if the trailer but I think they are these are the fuchsias if you look, I think that a trailing fuchsia, because even a bush fuchsia doesn't get that long stems, as far as I know. So I got two of those because we've taken some of our pots to the van, and then they. Uh, I thought that had a bug on it. Sorry, <laughs> I thought it had a bug on it. So yeah, we've taken some of our pots to the caravan from the garden and there's two that we have that are both the same and we used to have them on like brick pillars here uh, with a fuchsia in each one well the fuchsias died off um, not last year year before and we've never replanted them because with covid and what have you we didn't really see any flowers or things like that about i know there were a lot of flowers went to waste but we couldn't find any fuchsias that we liked so anyway Cut a long story short. Those are for the round pots that we've got, and we've got a trough that matches the round pots. So the troughs in the middle on the outside of the decking. I'll take a photo next next week when we've planted it up, and then um, the pots are on the outside, and then the troughs in the middle. So next week when we go bank holiday weekend, we're going to go to the garden centre and we're going to get some um, different plants to. Um, <coughs> Do the trough. And the dog's barking again, as per normal. They'll be barking at an advert on television that's got a dog on it. Or something. Somebody will be dressed up or something. They won't know what it is, so they'll be barking. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Yeah, the fuchsias were 275 each, which I thought was a really good price for that kind of size. So I'm pleased, pleased with them. And I think they're the white outside with a pale pink middle. Looking at the the flowers as they are, I mean the buds as they are at the moment. Anyhow, we shall see. Now moving on to home bargains, 
I was planning to go to Home Bargains tomorrow, as I normally do do my shop on a um, Tuesday. But while I was up there at the range, I thought, well, I might as well just nip in today, from memory, get what I need, and then tomorrow it leaves me free to get my normal shopping, and um, I need to pop into Tesco as well tomorrow. So I need to go to Aldi's, go to Tesco, and if I have time, depending on time, um, I want to go to B&M as well. There's a couple of bits I want in there. So they're all close together, you see. So anyhow, so I thought I'll nip into Home Bargains and get that at the same time. So here goes. I got, what I've done, I've taken out all the stuff like, I got eggs and toilet roll and stuff. You don't really need to see that. But I've just left a few bits in. We got, or I got, two porridges for Graham to pack up. They're normal. And they were, what are they, Oatburst? 39p. Got two of those. I got a thick tin foil, um, baker foil roll. This is the thick, extra strong, tearing this stuff. 15 metres, uh, which was 149. That's to take to the van. So that can go in there. That's going to the van. I got some more antihistamine tablets. I find that cetirizine um, suits my body better. You can get loratadine or cetirizine. They're both the same thing. They're, both, well, no, they're not the same thing. They both do the same thing in keeping hay fever at bay. But I prefer the cetirizine. The other one makes me feel a bit tired. Um, the cetirizine doesn't. So if you feel a bit tired, if you're taking hay fever medication just check what it is that you're taking because if it's the loratadine swap to cetirizine if it's cetirizine have a swap to loratadine and see see which works best for you these are work for me so i stick with these i got the wrong ones last week and uh, uh, last month and um they're just i was just so tired all the time so this one figured out that's what it is i got a oh they were wait a second they're only like, I think about 70p or something. Um, where are we? Allergy and hay fever reef, 89p. Those for 30, one a day, 30. I got a replacement sea salt grinder because mine's just about empty, which was, again, again, I think it was just like pence. I don't think it was very expensive. Um, sea salt where are you why is it that when you're looking for it you can never see um sweet x water cut silicon da, 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 da. grinder sea salt 69p sorry can't my eyes aren't working today i picked some of these up now these are 99 calories a bar the one pound 49 and there are six in the box they are called bliss and it says smooth caramel cream bars with crisp cereal coated in milk chocolate. If you want a chocolate fix, if you're slimming or trying to eat healthier and you want a chocolate fix, this hits the spot. These are fantastic. They are very, 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 very similar to Toffee Crisp. And the taste, it's, it's a good chocolate. It's got like a caramelly centre and it's like rice inside, like rice, ricicles kind of a thing. Just like a toffee crisp. They're not as big as toffee crisp, but for 99 calories, they hit the spot. And any sweet craving that you've got, they will sort it. So six bars for £1.49 in Bliss Crispy Delight Indulgent Chocolate Bar. Fab. They are lovely. So that's those. I also picked up... A Fabulosa uh, Rasp Villa, which I'm assuming is like Raspberry Ripper. Oh, sorry, the noise in the back. Let me have a smell, see what it smells like. I haven't tried this one yet, it's one of the new ones. They did have a set, uh, 4.49, and there was the spray, a minky uh, cloth thing, a pink one, minky sponge, antibacterial cloth thing, um, a polish, and something else can't remember what the other thing was bear with me oh that smells oh that smells absolutely gorgeous i'm gonna get the kit next week because that smell is unbelievable 
Oh, as well, it matches my hair and my top. <laughs> Rasp Villa Fabulosa. This was, um, let me have a see. Rasp Villa Fabulosa 89p uh, for 500ml. I shall definitely, oh, it's my menorah. I shall definitely get more of this next week, but I think I'll get the kit. And then I've got the spray, there's the poly, multi purpose polish, disinfectant, and another cleaning product as plus the thing. I think there's four items in the box for 449. I ought to have got one of those really, didn't I? But um, anyway, it says ready to use formula, cleans and shines, eliminates odours, long lasting, lasting freshness, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and virus and is vegan friendly. Um, to fully disinfect the area, spray on the area to be cleaned, leave for five minutes then wipe with a dry or damp cloth for heavily soiled surfaces repeat application. Um, let's see, does it say anything on here about animals? Let's have a look. Um, no. I don't know. Let's have a say. Remove. That's about if you go it in your eyes. That's if you swallow it by accident. Keep out of reach of children. Keep away from food, drink, and animal feed stuffs. Um, it says it, it, it kills coronavirus. E. coli. S. aureus, Listeria, Campylobacter, MRSA, Salmonella, Influenza type, uh, blah blah. Leaves no harsh chemical residue, suitable for septic tanks, suitable for vegan, cruelty free, Nature Watch Foundation. So it's approved by the Nature Watch Foundation. So I'm assuming, Nature Watch Foundation, I'm assuming. The, I don't think I've got that on right, it feels a bit wet. I'm assuming it's safe to use around your pets. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure. But it's part of the nature, it's approved by the Nature Watch Foundation. So I would assume that it's safe around pets. I don't tend to use, um, I tend to just avoid, get the pets avoid the area till it's fully dry if I'm using disinfectant on the floor. Um, because they can walk on it obviously and lick the feet which if it's wet it's more ingestible um whereas if it's dry i don't think it's as dangerous if they lick the feet i don't know i'm not a vet but that's my logic process anyway so there you go so that was 89 then i picked up this to try this is suppose this is called day two dry wash spray original this was 149 and it says specially formulated for most shirts, blouses, trousers and skirts. For more delicate fabrics and wools and cashmeres, try our delicate variant. Not suitable for use on fabrics that water spot, i.e. silk and rayon. Dermatologically tested. It says lay garment flat on bedding. Spray evenly from about 30 centimetres. Hand smooth any creases. Hang for 15 minutes. Um, and then it um, it like what it like washes and irons your clothes in what in the spray, um, and for each time you use it, you're saving water and um, the environment basically, because you're not using the chemicals to wash your, your clothes, you're not using the chemicals to soften the clothes and you're not using the water what's in the washing machine. So anything that's not, doesn't smell, anything that you've had on, say if I had this blouse on and then I went upstairs, got changed, put my sloppy joes on, I could spray this blouse and then leave it hung up and then be able to wear it again in a couple of days time. This like is an interim wash, a bit like a dry shampoo, that's what my thinking is. So. It says irons, freshens and softens clothes. So this gives you another day's wear basically. On some, obviously not if it's stained or if it's dirty. But it just needs freshening up. Let's have a smell. Because I like, when, my, when I use washing, when I do washing and things, I like it to smell nice. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that is. I love it. That smells fantastic. I wish I had a smelly computer. 
smell a vision, you could you could smell it. That is what does it smell like? It smells a bit like the midnight blooms, um Zoflora. Oh that's heavenly. Honestly, that is heavenly. I've not used this before, but I shall give this a go and I shall let you know. Um so it's a bit like a dry shampoo for your clothes. And this says when you've used the bottle, you will have saved up to here. Look, it gives you a marker. You will have saved 60 litres of water. It's got 20 down here. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 up here. So probably about 70 litres of water you'll have saved just if you use this in, on interim washers, interim wares, not interim washers, interim wares. So in between wares, not interim, in between. So yeah, so that's, I'm going to definitely try that because it smells better than the wash stuff. <laughs> smells better than the wash stuff that I've been using at the moment. There you go. Then I needed an airwick refill for my spray at the van. I haven't used this one before. This is pink sweet pea. Fresh matte, let's have a smell. That's lovely as well. Oh, blooming it. We're getting some real smelly, nice smelly things today. Oh, lovely. Can't wait to put that in. And then, more smellies. Hubby wanted a new air freshener for his truck. So this is, I've not seen this before. This is the Airwick Pure Fresh Berries. But it's going to smell like I don't know what in here. Just a second. Oh, that's lovely as well. Uh, what does this say? Pure air freshener, fresh berries with its formula with no added water, air with pure, neutralises odours with no water fall down and diffuses a fresh, wonderful fragrance in your home. That smells lovely as well. It does smell like black brick and blue brick, which is the picture on here. It does smell like that. That smells like a bit of <laughs> like a fruit salad. <laughs> lovely. I like that. That was uh, $1.99. The air wick sorry I forgot sorry the air wick was $1.99 and this is I think this is the same was it $1.99 wait a minute um fabuloso disinfectant spray 2 air wick fresh matic sweet pea $2.99 this spray $1.99 I have to remember to keep giving you prices I keep forgetting don't I right then the other thing which I always get from there the baby wipes this is their own baby wipes which are really good they've got the plastic thing on so they don't dry out it makes sure that it's closed properly every time these were 49p and these are the fragranced one they do do a pink one which is unfragranced for sensitive skin but we like we tend to use this for the dog's paws and things like that and if they want a quick wipe like round the sink i might use it um, if i'm in a rush or whatever and then i picked up these these are lovely Look at those. These are Neon Nights After Party by Elegant Touch London. They're fantastic. I really do need to get my acrylic back out and start doing my nails, but it's all been packed away at the moment, so I'm having to just do stick-ons. These that I've got on at the minute, my friend um, bought me a load of... They're like on a strip and you cut, cut the nails off that you want. She gave me loads in different colours and things. She knows what I'm like. Pink, there's bright orange, I've had green, like a berry colour. Um... Is there any blue in There's a load of colours anyway. She gave me loads of them. Bless her. She bought some and then halved them with me. So she cut half and then I, she gave me half. That's what we tend to do with nails. If you buy like nail things off Amazon or um, AliExpress, they tend to come in bigger packs which are cheaper. So we tend to buy a bigger pack and split it between us. We don't charge each other. If I buy it, I give her half. If she buys it, she gives me half. So that's how we roll. <laughs> And that's what friends are for. So yeah, so elegant touch nails. I shall be popping these on when these come off. Probably next week I'll take these ones off that are on my fingers now. You. So that's those. I'm going to in this bag now, can't I? And then the last thing that I bought, which I have never seen before, and they had all different ones. I bought some Matt Vitti's Digestives in Lemon Drizzle. Now I don't know if they're like um, the speciality thing or what, I don't know, but it says Matt Vitti's Digestive Lemon Drizzle Flavour Team GB Proud Partner 
Um, I've got no idea. I've never seen them before, lemon drizzle. They had a caramel one. Uh, oh, I wonder if it was salted caramel. Oh, if it was salted caramel, I've missed that, haven't I? I love salted caramel. It's my favourite flavour. So if there were salted caramel, I've missed it. I'll have to get them next week. But they had chocolate orange. They had some kind of caramel, whichever it is. Lemon drizzle. Um, and there was, a, there was a few different ones anyway. They were on the end of the aisle. They weren't in the biscuit aisle. They were on the end, like a promotion aisle. So these were lemon drizzle. Um, so I'm not going to open them because if I open them, I'll eat them all. So when I open them to pack them for hubby, I will try one. And they were 99p for the pack. They were all 99p from what I remember. So that's the haul from... Uh, the range. Let me pop these back in here and then I can talk to you properly. Can't wait to try that dry shampoo stuff for clothes. That's what we could call it. Dry shampoo for clothes. That'll make it easy, won't it? Oh! <laughs> it's not the end of the haul because I was blown away when I saw these and I couldn't quite believe that, that, that you'll see. For those of you that like baking, prick your ears up. If you bake, prick your ears up. If you bake, prick your ears up. Is that enough warning? <laughs> right. In home bargains, they've got these hung up. Silicon baking tins. And these are, eight for it, drum roll, 79p. No matter which one you buy. Well, I bought all the ones that were there today, so I'll show you. Not all of the stock, all the different ones I'll show you. So I got this loaf tin, which looking at that, it's about £2 kilo loaf tin. Or square cake, whatever you want to make in it. And I got this basket shaped one. Now, some bits, I don't know what's the, some of them, there's something in, in it as well. Let's have a look. Well, in this one, you see? Oh, oh, you can't see it. Excuse the wrapping. So, you've got a basket cake tin, whatever. Oh, you could use it for jelly, couldn't you, as well? A jelly mold. And then there are these like icing, icing decorator things, like stamps is the word. This one's a flower flower on each of those so you can put flowers around it and then there's an icing tool as well that's brilliant so 79p for that one too stick that back in there sorry for the noise but there's no maker on these but it did say on the tickets uh, rrp 7.99 each now i made sure that the last three digits of this which is 442 you can see that matched up with the price on the shelf because the only was in our store there was one price tag and there were all all these um, baking things cake tins so <coughs> I also got a round one that's just a round one on its own silica and the last one I got was the bunt tin so that's like a bunt tin and that's got things in so let's have a look excuse the noise oh drop something on the floor and this bunt tin oh what else is in it right is like a rose design if you look on there and this this would look fabulous on a, a birthday cake, like a rose. That's gorgeous. Just bear with me. Let me get whatever it was. Ugh. Right. Um, what does it say? It's in Russian or something. Um, well, it's in a Russian -like kind of language, but it says... It's made it... Well, it's got a London address thing on it. They're like leaves, it's a set of leaves, so you could press them into icing as well, like into fondant to make the imprints, teeny weeny one up to a bigger one. So the biggest one is, what's that, thumb size, 
so I'd say probably three inches, two and a half, two inches, the big one. And then the teeny weeny one is thumbnail size. If you look at that, teeny weeny one. So there's one, two, there's four altogether, but I don't know. The I think that's Russian writing. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody knows what that says, please put it in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. And then in that, there is also an ice and sugar drifter, duster, shaker, whatever you want to call it. I call it a shaker. With a screw top. This is plastic. It's not silicon. This is a plastic one. A silicon one won't work very good. With it. So for 79p, you get the lot. And for each of those cake tins, that's, the, that's it for the cake tins. For each of those, there was 79p. Now it says on here, uh, oh, Eagle Moss Publications, Kensington Village, blah, blah, blah. Uh, wash before use, made in China. Cake mixture or dough containing certain fruits or strong colours may cause some discoloration to the silicon. Well, that doesn't matter, does it? Um, will not affect the performance of the product. So it can be washed, obviously. It can go in the oven. It can go in the freezer. Uh, and it says two, minus 40 degrees to plus 240 degrees. So they work up to 240 degrees C. Well, you, you won't cook a cake at 240, would you? So... Um, that's really that is really good value i think 79p for each of those i thought i picked i picked the round one up and i thought well i'm stupid i have to just get them all they won't be there i doubt they'll be there next week so um i'm hoping there'll be some other things there that's in the range there weren't any bone cases otherwise i'd have bought bone cases as well but there weren't any bone cases um so i'll have to keep my eye out next week and see what other things there are and then the last thing I bought was this artist palette. Now this was, let me have a look, um, da, 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 I think it was about 89p or something. Um, palette, 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 where are you? Um, I'm sure it was 89p. Never find it, can you? Anyway, I, um, I'm fancying having a go at um watercolor let me have a look at this i just can't find this just a second uh loo roll blah 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 hair wick nescafe opus mini milky bones for the dogs um do 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 after party there my nails they were 199 big eggs can't see it on there. Anyway, I'm sure I w it will be on there, but I just can't see it. I'm sure it was 89p. Um, so it's a 12 watercolour paint and brush. I didn't want to spend a lot of money because, to be honest with you, I can't paint. I can't draw. I can sew. I can crochet. I can do all the other crafty bits and bobs, but I cannot paint. I, I couldn't do drawing or anything at school. But there's a guy on YouTube that's doing that does tutorials I call him bob uh is it moss i'm not sure i'm gonna have a go i won't use this brush because the brush won't be a very good quality brush to do we won't get a very good result it's just a kiddies one i think but the paint should be all right as a try and then if i do like it or if i can do it then i can get um some better paints but i just thought just to try it i'll just Get a cheapy palette, use a different brush and see how we get on. Now, I don't want to open this because um, I'm taking it to the van. And I think there's some kind of a recess here. You can't see it. from. It feels like there's some kind of a recess here to mix like a little bit of a thing. So you hold it like so, your thumb goes through. And then there's some kind of a recess there, which is probably water or mixing plate thing so there are 12 watercolors in here they're quite big so that should last me a while and enable me to have a go so that's that so i'm going to have a go it won't be yet because obviously i've got a lot on at the moment but 
I just thought it'd be nice and relaxing because when we know hubby's going to be out all week at work and I thought on a night rather than just sit and crochet or so or watch TV whatever I can just give it a bit of a go I bet it's nice and relaxing I've always wanted to be able to paint or draw but I just can't I can't get I just cannot transfer what's in front of me there to what's in here to this paintbrush <laughs> I can't do it so a bit of tutorial might help I don't know but I'm going to give it a go I love colouring and things like that so I'm going to give painting a go in a, the long list of other things that I'm going to do I'm going to have a go at flower arranging I've got loads of flowers to do I'm going to have a go at watercolour I'm going to have a go at all sorts of things like that there's lots of things that I already do as you probably know but anyhow yes so that's the future and I've got to start my uh, memory book as well which I told which we went through did the video on it if you haven't seen that video have a look um, back on my library um, and there's a um, a video about making memories and things and making an album, scrapbook album, that kind of thing. So, without further ado, thanks for watching. For those of you that are regulars, thanks for joining me again and staying with me through this difficult time. I know I haven't been here a lot lately, um, but as you know, things I've got major things going on at the moment in my life, but I am trying so um, I have been videoing, I've been videoing the shed transformation um, but I haven't had a chance to edit it and put it together yet. I will try and do that later tonight maybe and see if I can upload it. At least you'll see where we are so far with it. We've nearly done anyway, we're just loading stuff into the shed at the minute. So, um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Please put any comments below and please advise your friends about this happy channel because that's what I'm aiming for it to be a happy channel and I really appreciate your support and any feedback that you've got thank you very much my darlings and I'll see you very very soon Mwah! a big kiss from the boys too